Hello pals, it's Pastor Amy. Today I'm gonna to tell you about one of the most famous sermons in the whole world. It's about a time when Jesus was teaching some people on a mountainside. What he said that day is recorded in our Bible in the book of Matthew in chapters five through seven. So again, if you wanna read along, you can look it up in chapters five through seven of the book of Matthew. It's often called the Sermon on the Mount. I'm going to read a little bit about what that day was like from the children's Bible called the Jesus Storybook Bible. Here we go. Wherever Jesus went, lots of people went to. They loved being near him. Old people, young people, all kinds of people came to see Jesus. Sick people, well people, happy people, sad people, unworried people, lots of them worrying about lots of things. What if we don't have enough food? or clothes, or suppose we run out of money. What if there isn't enough? What if everything goes wrong and we won't be all right? What then? When Jesus saw the people, his heart was filled with love for them. They were like a little flock of sheep that didn't have a shepherd to take care of them. So Jesus sat them all down and talked to them. The people sat on the grassy mountainside and listened. From where they sat, they could see the blue lake glittering below and the little fishing boats coming in from a night's catch. The spring air was fresh and clear. I love this description. It helps us set the scene for the Sermon on the Mount that Jesus is going to share in the following chapters. There is so much important and good stuff in those chapters. We couldn't possibly talk about it all today, so I just picked three things from the Sermon on the Mount that I think you should know about, okay? Are you ready for number one? Here we go. The whole Sermon on the Mount, a whole lot of it, spends time talking about the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is what God dreams our world would be like. We know that our world is a little bit broken, that it's not perfect just like God made it way back when it was first created. The whole broken world will be made right again, and the dream of that we call the kingdom of God. God has big dreams for God's world. A lot of what Jesus had to say that day about the kingdom of God was super surprising to people because they thought that they knew the rules. They were surprised to hear Jesus say things like, the greatest people, are the people who serve others. Jesus said, if someone asks for your help, you need to do what they ask and then do even more than that. That was crazy talk. A lot of what Jesus had to say about how God wanted the world to work was surprising to them because it was kinder and um, more giving than they could ever have imagined. The Sermon on the Mount talks about people who are kind of considered less than in this world. And they said that in the kingdom of God, in the blessings of God's good world, they will be happy. There were lots of surprises there. This idea of God's dreams for the world changed everything about the way people thought about life here in this world. The second thing. I want to point out to you from the Sermon on the Mount is something called the Golden Rule. Jesus was trying to explain to his people, to his disciples, that living by faith in God was different than living according to the rules of their old religion, that the Pharisees, the people who were the leaders of the religion then, had taught them. He, he would say, you have heard it said, the Pharisees have said, but I say to you, several times. He said he did that. He would say, you heard it said this way, but I'm telling you a new thing. He was comparing the old rule following system under the Pharisees that people knew to a new way of living in faith in God. Jesus was almost to the end of his teaching when he said, therefore, you should treat people in the same way that you want people to treat you. This is the law and the prophets. And this is the verse that has come to be known is the golden rule. Treat others the way that you want to be treated. Now, I think that's hard all the time, but I think it's especially important for us today. We need to treat every person the way we want to be treated. 
Now, if you're still staying home, that means the first people you have to practice this on is your family. And if you've been together for a while, it may be kind of hard to do that. But it's still so important and so good that we try to follow Jesus' new way. A life of faith in God means treating every other person with kindness. The third part, another really important part of the Sermon on the Mount that I'm going to share with you today is about the time when Jesus taught his followers to pray. If you're looking or thinking about another scripture that you could memorize, this would be a great one. The verses are called the Lord's Prayer. Jesus told his disciples so many important things that day about what it meant to be people who love God and listen to God and ask God to be a part of their lives. The words are beautiful. I have a favorite song that includes the words of this prayer, and the song is kind of more made for kids, so the way that it uses simpler language to talk about the Lord's Prayer may be perfect for us today. So those are the words I'm going to read today. It's from a band called Rain for Roots. In fact, I'm going to put a link to that video in our newsletter this week so you can listen to that song at home if you want to hear these words again, okay? Um, I think as we wrap up our video together today, maybe we could pray this prayer together. So even though we're in different rooms and we're, uh, I'm recording this at one time and you're going to watch it at a different time, maybe we could even be praying this together. So I'm going to say some words and then I'm going to pause just for a second and I'm going to imagine that in the future when you're watching this video, you're going to be saying these words back to God wherever you are. Okay, let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, reveal who you are. Set the world right. Do what is best. As above, so below. Keep us alive with three square meals. Keep us safe. From the devil and ourselves. Keep us forgiven with you and forgiving others. You are in charge. You can do anything. You are beautiful. Amen. Amen. I pray that God hears our prayers this day and that we learn more and more what it means to be a part of God's dreams for the world and to treat others as we would want to be treated and to follow God through prayer. Have a great week, friends. Bye-bye.